Hello world, this is Ben from Making Spider Sense with a tutorial on how to implement Google's invisible recaptcha in three simple steps using PHP. I'm really hungry right now, so we're going to try and make this video short and sweet. First off, it should be noted that you need PHP installed on your server. It's common for servers to be pre-configured with PHP, so this probably won't be an issue for many of you. You can find a link to the code in the description of this video. This will make it easy for you to copy and paste without errors. Now without further ado, let's check out the Invisible reCAPTCHA in action. On my website, the Invisible reCAPTCHA is already integrated into the form. You can tell because there's a widget in the lower right hand corner of the screen. So let's submit the form. As you can see it works. Now that you've seen how it works, it's time to show you how to implement it. First, let's head over to the reCAPTCHA intro page. It's the first link when you type in reCAPTCHA. Then we could click Get reCAPTCHA. If you already have a Google account, you can register a new site. Here you're going to want to type in the label. We'll type in example and then click invis Invisible reCAPTCHA. Here we'll type in example.com and you could also include other domain names that point to your website as well. Accept register. Here we have your site key and your secret key. We'll be using those later. Right now we have a simple form with no reCAPTCHA set up yet. The form is called form.html and if you submit it, it goes to underscore form.php. You can really name this whatever you want, but you need to have the extension .php. Here we have the code for the form page. The form, as you can see, is really basic. It's just got a subject line, a message, and a submit button. And then when it's submitted, it goes to underscore form.php. This is where a PHP code will be. Now, if you go to the description of this video, you'll see a link to where you can download this code. In step one, we're going to want to copy and paste this into the head tag. In step two, we're going to want to copy and paste this into the form. We're also going to want to copy and paste this where we want our submit button to appear. In this case, we're going to replace the input button. Finally, in step three, we're going to copy this large chunk of code onto the submission page. Now we just need to replace the site key and the secret key with the keys that we were given. So the site key, copy and paste and the secret key, copy and paste. At the bottom you could put whatever code you want to happen here. If you want a mail function or just some HTML to show up, you just have the HTML within these quotes. Your code should now be good to go. I just uploaded the files and they are now live. I also changed the keys to work with makingspidersense.com. So let's test it out. As you can see, the reCAPTCHA widget is in the lower right hand corner. And when we click the submit button, the capture was completed successfully. Now if we were to go back and continually submit this, it's going to eventually ask us to complete a puzzle because it's going to think we might be a bot. 
So select all images with cars. And there we go. If you're still having trouble getting this to work, I recommend that you double check your keys. If you mix up the site and secret key, or the keys don't match your domain, it's not going to work. Thanks for watching this video. If it helped you out, you can like the video. And for future tutorials, be sure to subscribe.